Hello guys, welcome to the Innovation Lab. In this video, we are going to perform an experiment to know if it will be possible to connect two DC to DC boost converters in parallel and now use the parallel boost converter system to drive a single load. So at the end of this video, we hope to find out if this parallel DC to DC boost converter concept is going to be safe, is it going to be efficient, um, is this something I recommend for you guys to do? And uh, what about the power distribution? Are we going to have an even power distribution between the two DC to DC boost converters? And possibly what could be the problems associated with doing something like this? All right, guys, without wasting much time, let's get started. The idea to make this video actually came from all the wonderful feedback and suggestions and uh, questions that I've been getting from you guys. Actually, uh, one of our subscribers recommended that we try this using uh, blocking diodes connected at the output of each converter um, to see if that will work. And that is exactly what we're going to do in this video. So at the end of this video, we will be able to find out if this will be a safe alternative to increase the uh, power output of your DC to DC boost converter system. The big focus for this video will be to look at the power distribution between the two um, DC to DC boost converters when we are using them to drive a single load. Are they going to be able to evenly distribute power uh, between the two boost converters? One thing I'd like to add is that uh, even though making this video has been quite uh, interesting and I've actually learned a lot from it, but also uh, it presented a whole lot of challenges because uh, we had to make multiple repairs to the boost converters, I think uh, precisely this one here. And what I intend to do after this video is to make a follow on video to show you guys how to make repairs to this uh, DC to DC boost converters quite easily. And if you like to see the repair video, please make sure you subscribe to the Innovation Lab so you get notified as we release the video. All right, guys, let's get to it.
All right, guys, our setup is complete. But before we get started, let's go ahead and look at all the safeties that we have on this setup. Our battery systems have the internal BMS which will protect our batteries from over discharging. And coming down to the DC to DC boost converters, we actually have, uh, first of all, we have the protection fuses which is about 60 amps and uh, we have the uh, under voltage and uh, over current protection circuits in these uh, DC to DC boost converters. Then going to the output, we have our circuit breaker here, which we're going to be using in this case, both as a switch and also as a, a protective uh, device. And lastly, we have our 1000 watt heater. And the only thing I would recommend for you to do if you decide to use a uh, load like this for your test will be to make sure that you add water so that way um, the heater doesn't uh, uh, burn up and cause any kind of uh, hazard for you. All right, guys, that's it for the safety that we have on this uh, uh, setup. Now let's jump into the testing and have some fun. All right, guys, as you can see on our setup here, we have 27.22 volts coming out of our lithium phosphate battery pack. And we had adjusted the outputs of each DC to DC boost converter to exactly 32 volts, as you can also see here. And we're going to be using that to drive our fixed resistance uh, load, being the heater. So the overall objective of what we are trying to do is to do uh, load stepping by slowly increasing the output voltage coming out of our DC to DC boost converter with each test. So we're going to start with 32 volts and for the next test we may go to 42 volts and 52 volts and uh, 62 volts and that's where things will start getting tricky because we have to proceed carefully. All right guys, let's get started.
all right guys we have come to the end of the video thank you for watching as you have seen in the video we wanted to know if we could possibly connect to dc to dc boost converters in parallel and use it to drive our load and the overall goal if this was to be very effective would have been to know if we could possibly increase the output power of our boost converter system to be able to give us a higher power output rating we have two 1800 watts dc to dc boost converters so the plan would have been that um, having these two boost converters connected in parallel should have been able to give us at least more than 3000 watts of power output but as you have seen in the video we were able to drive the system up to about uh, close to 900 watts at 52 volts and as we increase the output voltage to about 60 62 volts we get a failure on one of the converters which is not good so in a nutshell what this tells me is that um, doing this is not very efficient and it presents some risks so at this point i don't think that this is something that i would recommend for anybody to do because even though the concept sounds very uh, interesting it's not quite very reliable all right my friends i'll be making a repair video to show you guys how you can repair these boost converters also going into the future i do have another concept that i'm going to be trying to know if we can uh, increase the output power of these boost converters and if you would like to see all of that don't forget to subscribe to the innovation lab and if you had fun watching this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up all right, my friends, thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.